Guys, I made an actual technical drawing. Look at that. We're getting serious with this business. Ooh, baby! My friends, I have a bit of a dilemma on my hands. I would like to add a lathe to my arsenal of goodies, but uh, the beer fund's a bit dry at the moment. So why don't we just build one? For anyone wondering what a lathe is, this is a lathe. It turns chunks of metal into slightly smaller rounded chunks of metal. And what that means for us is that we'll be able to make things like crankshafts, pins, nozzles, and all other kinds of metal goodies. Which effectively opens the door for us to start working on things like engines and turbines. Now, I've spent some time putting together some plans on how we can actually pull this off, and so really the only thing that we have left to do is to actually source our parts. And since our budget is kind of tight, I'm planning on scavenging or making most of our parts from stuff that I already have around the shop. So, I think we've got everything now. Um, hold on, something's missing. Oh, there we go. Now that's everything. At this point, it slides pretty smoothly. There's like no wobble, which is surprising. But yeah, I think I'm done for today. I'll pick it up again tomorrow. I kind of figured you guys are getting bored of watching me cut and uh, weld and grind metal. So I did most of this off camera. All I did today really was weld the frame together, weld on our upright supports, weld on some cross beams here. Well, the frame is like super sturdy. And I think that's partially thanks to my welds not being absolute shit anymore. Huh? That's not that bad. We got this thing now. So to make this, first off, I had to go and grind down the drive shaft here because it was a little bit bigger than I anticipated. So then once I had the drive shaft down to size, I was able to heat the inside part of the bearing and heat fit the inside of the bearing to the drive shaft so it's it's on there real tight. So this whole thing is like one uh, drive shaft unit at this point. Which is pretty handy because all we need to do now is tack weld it into the frame. I think that went surprisingly well. We have run into a new problem and that is that my chuck is kind of offset. So I think what I might do is I might just tack it so that it's straight. We're getting into the territory of wishy-washy bullshit kind of kind of engineering here. So bear with me. Look at that. That is at the end of the shaft here, which means that we got the chuck like concentric with the drive shaft. Oh baby, that's awesome. Okay, I'm gonna put more welds in here and hopefully it stays that way. Look at that. Oh, it's so good. I could cry. 
I could cry. You guys saw me put that thing in. I did the same thing on the other side. Those are just the cut off little bit from the drive shaft. It fits so tight that the sled does not move whatsoever. I can't believe how well this is fitting together. This is absolutely crazy. I just cleaned off some of the burrs on this thing and look at how smooth that's running. Oh, virtually no wiggle. I think I just turned my drill press into a mill. Look at that. Oh, no way. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Aha! Uh -huh. Look what we have here. After our test yesterday, uh, I was kind of sketched out by how fast this thing was spinning. After some Googling, I figured out that that is a 3600 RPM motor. And I also figured out that this is a 40 tooth gear. So I did the math and found out that a 12, 10, and an 8 tooth gear will give us 1050, 900, and 750 respectively. Uh, RPMs, I mean. And that should be perfect for the lathe. I also made this, which is our chain tensioner. So we got a spring here, this guy. So this arm goes in here. I'll pop that on there. Boom. And you gotta give it a little spin. It is ridiculously loud. So with our gears working and our motor hooked up, um, we can try cutting something. And I made this, which is 01 tool steel with some uh, cutting geometries in there. And that will just go right in here. Homemade lathe test 
Uh, one, whatever. I think that needs some more improvement, I think. I've used some metal shims to kind of raise this up a little bit so it's right about center here. All right, I put it in second gear. Let's see what happens. I wasn't totally happy with uh, that test, so I've reground uh, the cutting edges here and gave them a little bit of a radius so we have a wider contact with our material. And uh, let's try that again. We have a four jaw chuck, so we can turn square material. I don't know how well this will go. This might explode. We'll see. but uh, totally works though. So it doesn't exactly run like a store-bought lathe, but how? We built it from stuff that I found in my backyard and at Home Depot. And considering that we were able to do this, I'm pretty happy. But that isn't to say that I won't improve it in the future. I wanna build a tailstock, rebuild the drive shaft, fix the sleds, uh, build a motor enclosure, and all kinds of other stuff with this thing. But anyways, that's all I got for you guys today. So I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Bye bye